DNS, DNS, and DNS in detail. This is the room today on try hack we're gonna do. It's um, actually a part of a learning path, I think it is. Let's go check it out. So learn, learning path, I think it's the one called Web Fundamentals on the very first one here called how the web works. So it's gonna be DNS in detail. So let's talk about that. Now there's a video right here. I don't know who made it, not gonna click on that. Anyways, this is a room without an actual server. We don't need to boot anything up. It's just a in-house website. So basically what is DNS? So DNS is basically as they talk about right here in um, the phone book of the internet. So in order for you to find the domain name for, uh, sorry, the IP address for the domain name you're looking up, you're gonna go ahead and request that from a DNS server and the DNS server will reply back with the actual IP address. So imagine you're gonna remember all the numbers, right? So, but why is there such a thing as DNS? Well, there is such a thing as DNS because we humans do not remember these IP addresses really good. Remember, uh, how many different kind of domain names do you remember by just by hand, you know? But, you know, you probably remember 50, I guess, but could you remember 50 IP addresses? <laughs> I guess you couldn't, so that is why we have it. So it really is simple when you type in a domain name in your browser, it's gonna request that from Yelp, DNS server, but it's a bit more advanced than that, you know, and then boom, you're gonna get the um, IP address. The question is domain name system. Let's go ahead and do that. So go on back. Domain hierarchy, which is the um, where we're gonna get from right now, is you are somewhere. Let's assume you are on me. That's a .com address, and that is the second level domain. The top level domain is what you call the dot. The actual Affix the what are you gonna call the, the 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 domain name top level domain you can call it right the 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 the, the TDL so that would be um, all different kind of domain names you know like dot you know info dot net dot org and so on also the one for your country dot you know de for Germany or the dk for Denmark and so on. The very first one is a root domain, <clears throat> and <clears throat> they do actually talk about that here, what it is and such thing. What is the maximum length of a subdomain? It's 253, so let's go ahead and write that. Um, what? The maximum, did I read this incorrect? The maximum 63, oh sorry, yeah, I did read it incorrect before. Which is the following carriage cannot be in a subdomain. So there are different kind of things. Uh, the underscore is not possible to have. Uh, you probably already guessed that just by looking at the different kind of answers. The maximum length of the domain name as we got before, 253, I mixed them up. What type of TLD is C-O-U-K? Now, we're gonna go ahead and check that out because the CO UK could, for example, be what you would consider as a top level, top level domain name because you were thinking, well, that is a part of the blue ones. The ants are gonna fit in with the uh, five letters. So I guess that would be the uh, CCTLD where you're gonna use the uh, country code to to give us the um the actual you know domain of it so um record types is just another thing it's isn't just for websites also multiple type genus records exist we'll go over some of the most common ones that are likely you come across so the a records these records resolve the ip version 4 versus for example like that Got the triple, uh, the the the, the quadruple for a uh, records so the IP version six, the C name records for uh, resulting in a domain name, for example, hacking online shop and so on. The MX records handling stuff like let me see what it says. Uh, stuff for email, yeah, and the TXT records for free text fields and so on. 
So what type of records would be used to advise to send email, MX records, and what type of record handles the IP address uh, six, that's quad through A's. Now, you might think why, what is all this, you know, and I wanna say the, the easiest way to just accept these kind of things when you go along because many of the questions I often hear students ask is, but why? Why is all of that? Why are we gonna use, what are we gonna use it for? Why is it there? Who put it there, you know? Okay, so let's, let's look at this from a specific angle saying, why is it there? You know, the answer, you will not like it because someone created it. Who created it? Some humans created it. It's a human created thing. So eventually, when the further down you go the ladder and, and, and start asking the questions, why, what, where, who, stuff like that, the simplest answer in the end is gonna be because someone made it. Why? Because it got a purpose, a look up. In some way, whenever you send an email, you know, the, the, the machine needs to know where to send the email to, which kind of IP address to send it to, who's the receiver, who's the sender, you know, who, which server will, will, will actually process that email. All these kind of questions need some, some sort of kind of record in some way. In some occasions, these kind of things come in handy, and this is the, 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 the one of the reasons that I, that's gonna, you know, this, this is around. So I would say, just not listening to me alone, also read the text, go ahead and search more on the internet, that would be a great idea. Making a request. This is um, probably one of the best. So you're gonna go ahead and start with the number one, go to number five. So you're gonna go ahead and, and say, I wanna go to uh, tryhackme.com. You go ahead and do a, a recursive DNS server uh, lookup and you will get access to the actual root DNS server and then the authority DNS server, which holds the actual IP address. I'm gonna return it back to you and now you can do the actual request. Now you can skip all that if you just know the actual IP address. Now that would be, um, an interesting plugin for browsers that you could just tell the browser to lock the IP address of a particular website so you can do direct uh, connection to it. Um, There's a small story here. I highly suggest you go ahead and read that because it's gonna answer some of the questions that I'm not gonna, well, you just have to read it, you know, because I, I don't wanna say anything, so. What field specifies how long a network card should be cached for, right? So in order to understand that, you need to find wherever there's a cache. They want uh, three letters. I, 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 I feel like DNS is the right answer, no. What do we want me to write? Um, it could also be the ISP, because that is also where some things is cached sometimes. It's not the right answer again. What kind of information do they put here? You say DNS, cache, ISP is there so also, DNS one more time. Um, DNS one more time again, TLD, I don't think they want to write that. Is that the, no, of course not. What field specified, a field, right? Um, time to live, well, yeah, that could also be one of the correct answers in this particular question. I I would say, I kind of sometimes struggle understanding the questions on Trahag Me. it's just, maybe it's because I'm not a native English speaker, maybe it's because I just think differently, I don't know. What type of DNS is usually provided by your ISP? What type of DNS? So, well, it's um, uh, it it's when you look up. So, I guess you call it recursive. So, let's try. Yes, good guess. And what type of server holds all the records for a domain? I would call that a an authoritative of the. Let me just spell it out. Authoritative. I couldn't spell that. A U T H O R R T A T I V. Oh, it's just right there. Yes. 
All right. So now that we, um, and you can also see that in the image, it's the last one, authoritative, whatever. So now we're gonna have that as a practical test. Let's view the website. And we've got some questions now to answer. Using the website, right, you can build a request. So let's do that. And let's look up. What is the C name for the shop? Uh, so let's, uh, I guess, take, pick C name, the sides. There we go. What is the C name? And they gave me, What is how does it work? So put that in. The C name. Hmm, you can't find any. Are we using this tool they created for me, correct? Can't find. Um Interesting, so we're gonna pick the subdomain website. So, oh, just gonna write shop. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, so. Need to understand how to use the tool. The C name is uh, this one here, so let's go ahead and copy paste that. What's the value of text record of websites? So go, go ahead and pick text and that would be it then it always filled out the value is <laughs> a flag okay now these kind of things strike a bit odd sometimes that they put a flag there for something that is a bit you know um weird i guess instead they should just use that field so we can actually you know learn something from it, but it's not always the case. What is the numerical priority value for the um, MX record? So we're gonna go ahead and choose the MS record and see that, and it's a 30. <coughs> and what's the IP address for the A record of the, okay, so let's just take the, um, didn't I? get that at some point. I wasn't, no. So let's take the A record. I'm gonna take it four times 10 and that's it for now. Now, as interesting as you actually think DNS is, it is this interesting. DNS is one of the more dull, I would say, and boring topics whenever it's pen test time. So let's discuss just for a second, we're gonna use this for whenever we are doing a pen test, right? So where was that image? No, okay, last time, please, yeah. So <clears throat> whenever you do a an actual pen test, you go to a website and you, you get the IP address, you know, you visit the actual website and you know, you visit it. The thing that DNS mostly is used for is on the opposite side, I would say as a botnet to hide traffic inside of it. You can also, there are some malware groups that actually use DNS and crypto loggers and stuff like that, you know. Um, it's another video, it's another time, but there are different kind of things that DNS is used for. Uh, you can also, if you can do DNS poisoning, redirect, you know, people to another IP address if you can, if you got local access to the network. But you know, apart from that, you know, DNS mostly used to, you know, if you can do some DNS lookup and, and find subdomains and stuff like that, then you can find hidden places on the website. You can go ahead and visit, and from that you might find a hidden link. Sorry, a weak link on a website that can grant you access to even more interesting, funny stuff. All right, so this video is going to end right now. It's um, it's a detailed DNS in detail. I really hope you learned something from it. And if you did, please uh, consider giving my video a like and leave a comment below and see you again online.